Okay, hello my friend. How are you doing tonight? Good. Good. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. How are you doing tonight, Sarah? Good. Good, good. So, uh, you're here on the street. So, when I first met you, I was surprised that you say you're a homeless. You're really very, very clean, good looking, well dressed. Your hair is clean. And uh, so, tell me what happened. How you end up being homeless? Well, I left Montana. I wanted to start work, and everything was stolen out of my hotel room. Mm hmm. And I've been homeless for a year ever since. So, what, what did you say that was stolen from you in a hotel? You wanted to start doing what? What a business? A table and a credit card and a cell phone. That's all I need to get back on my feet again. So, you, you, were, you were doing a masseuse? You were a masseuse? Mm hmm. That's what you did. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, and how do you end up in Seattle? The bus. With the bus? The Greyhound bus. Okay, so why do you make a decision to come to Seattle? What, what makes you to come to Seattle? Oh, really? <laughs> well, Black Lives Matter. Oh, okay. Yes. That's good. So you come with them and you stay, you get stuck, stick here, you, you get stuck here? Yeah. Oh, you were, I was a part of Black Lives Matter uh, movement too. I come to those rallies and stuff, mm -hmm. and you, you just stay here, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. since that time, it was like, that was a few years back. So uh, did you have an apartment? Did you have a place to stay? Or you... I was going to, I was going to have it all. Yeah, and? and they, I threw one party with a bunch of Mexicans, and they uh -huh. took all my shit. They took my table, my credit card, and my cell phone. Wow. And then from that time, you, you did not... Uh, you could not go back on your foot, right? So, uh, you told me you have kids, right? You have an ex-husband? Yes. How many kids you have? Two. Two? And how old they are? 19 and 11. 19 and 11. Okay. So, tell me, what is your experience living on the street? Like, sleeping? Is it... Are you scared? Like... No, I'm not scared. Why would I be scared? you're a woman and there's a bunch of crazy people around you know it's not safe to sleep on the street oh god well <laughs> i guess don't be all american don't join the army oh okay oh, what is this huh? oh okay so He's when married. were so were you married or you were <laughs> Uh, okay. So uh, tell me, um, you have a parents, right? I get frustrated sometimes, but it's, it's coming along. Day one. Yeah. You also mentioned a lot of that people were on quarantine, so it's uh -huh. difficult. Mm -hmm. So you also mentioned earlier that you, your parents get separated, and then you end up with your mom. And what happened with your uncle? That when you, what happened? He sexually molested me. How old were you? Twelve. How, Twelve. And for how many years he was doing that? Um, it, the process. It's a process. Okay. Yeah. We, we were dating. Real cute, right? Wow. So you were thinking that you were dating him. He is how old? Oh, he was he, forty. He was forty, and you were twelve. It. <laughs> oh my God. Gross. So and so he was probably telling you like Shh, don't tell nobody or like oh, well, when you say dating like how how when how, you're that young and he's giving you things and paying for stuff uh huh you're not gonna say anything so did your mom knew did you tell your mom that you're dating your cousin or uh -uh. no I don't know. that was a secret right the cops came over and was like what did anybody find out later on or yeah he went to prison he went to prison. So they find out. How they find out? Well, eventually, my dad pulled it out of me, you know. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. I know this happened. I know this happened. Tell me what, it, tell me what happened. Mm -hmm. So how you feel about that? Do you feel that damaged your life, damaged you as a person? Oh, yeah, completely. I can see. My identity was taken. Well, yeah. I'm sorry I to hear that. I sexually active really, really young. 
Uh huh. And is it, did the, that affected your uh, uh, a teenage sexual life or sexual life in general? Do you have a problem like enjoying with the, having a sex with the man, or are you still like? No. Not really. You love set you that's good. And yeah. Good, good. At least it's not hey, like guys and Mexican guys and <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you how many boyfriends you have? You tell me you have a boyfriend and you say like what? You have Oh, yeah. Well <laughs> You have boyfriends. That, I, that's I enough. Know, I don't right. know. Yeah, <laughs> that's enough. At least that. Right. And honestly, let me tell you you are so pretty. Thanks. You are so pretty and yes, I think my boyfriend is black. <laughs> So, uh, before we did it, like, one time. Oh, okay. I'm gonna find me black man. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, the other thing is, do you have any, like, living on the street all this year, did you ever have any bad experiences? Like, bad experience? I, I don't know, like, when I say bad, like, someone tried to do something to you to rape you or, or to attack you or no. steal things from you? No. No? Oh. It was just a, <laughs> it was a joke. The guys were playing pranks on each other. One would fall asleep, someone would wake up without their backpack. Oh, okay. All we have in there is their uh, dirty socks and underwear. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's kind of cute. Yeah. So uh, I asked all of my uh, uh, interviewers uh, if you have like three wishes. Think about three wishes, and those wishes can come true right now, this moment. Like snap of my finger, what they will be. Um, ecstasy, midgets, and vodka. <laughs> oh, okay, let's party, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but you, you know, I know now you're a little joking, but hey, you know, uh, but you did mention that you want to go back to uh, uh, to be a masseuse and yes. yeah. So, do you think that you need some like professional help, like mental help, or or? There might be some. There might be some. Um, I want to repair my relationship with my parents. Okay, that's a that's a yeah that that's a wish. Yeah. From a distance. Uh huh. You know. How about your daughters? Yeah, they're they're fine. You know, they've been with their dads, so everybody's taking care of them. So they're good. They're uh, taking uh, good care of them. He's taking good care. Good. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, you're happy. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Perfect. So they live in Washington. Or they live somewhere else. Um, one of them lives in California, the other lives in Oregon. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so is there anything else uh, that you need or you like to have so you can tell me now? So maybe some of my viewers wanted to help. Uh, like if you need help, just say, or if you have some message yeah. to the people. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Can we be done with the interview, please? And? Yes. <laughs> okay.